Hello, my name is Emilio, and I'm an analytics engineer at Seek. Today I'll be demonstrating how I got ChatGPT to fully develop a Python application that can be ran inside of Seek, where this application performs partial least squares modeling against my provided data set. First, we should lightly introduce Seek Data Lab and ChatGPT for anyone who may not be familiar. Seek Data Lab is a Seek core experience that is Python based. It's more specifically within a Jupyter Notebook environment and allows very complex functionality, essentially anything that's capable within Python. The benefit of Seek Data Lab is that it is part of Seek, meaning it is connected to all of the various data sources within your server. So data from any data source is able to be leveraged within Python analytics and visualizations. Another key feature that Python and Seek Data Lab brings is the ability to run Python notebooks in what's called app mode. This essentially creates a user interface where all of the backend code that develops any visualizations or embedded functionality is hidden from the users. And so to a normal user, they're simply interacting with another component or application within Seek. Seek has many add-ons already available, which can be found in our knowledge base under the add-on gallery. Inside the add-on gallery, you can see the vast offerings of open add-ons that can be installed at your own discretion. You'll notice that these add-ons allow for additional functionality built on top of Seek, such as providing a correlation matrix across your data set. To look at an example of an add-on, I can simply take you to Workbench and show you how an add-on is launched. They're typically found in the Tools tab under the Add-on section. There, you'll be able to see all of the available add-ons that your server has. And for example, if I select the Correlation Analysis add-on, you'll see that another pop-up is generated that is pulling in all the Seek information that was on my Workbench display and assessing the correlation between these variables. There's lots of different functionality that add-ons can consist of, but in general, this is an example of what an add-on can look like. Now to introduce ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an extremely intelligent artificial intelligence language model. What this means is that you can speak to ChatGPT and work directly with it as you would any other work colleague, and it will understand exactly what you're asking and do its best to provide you the associated information that you ask for. More specifically, what I've been working with is GPT-4, which is OpenAI's most advanced system so far. GPT-4 is capable of receiving extremely complex prompts and is able to generate equally complex and accurate responses based on your prompts which I find very helpful in helping me create the Python code for add-ons I want to build and deploy in Seek. Now that these two are lightly introduced, let's go ahead and look at my use case, where I use ChatGPT to write all the code for a custom application that I can deploy in Seek to perform partial least squares modeling. Now we're inside of a conversation that I had with ChatGPT. Note the model is GPT-4, and here you can read my entire request. I've specifically mentioned that if the response limit is going to be hit, to provide me with notice so that I can just ask the model to continue with its response. You'll see the first response provided me with the summary that I asked for and some associated code for the app layout and components. It politely tells me that it will provide the rest of the code in its next response. So I simply ask it to continue. In the next response, you can see that it's now creating the code for the PLS model and the associated visualizations. It provides me with one last code item to include, and this is our app. So what I can do now is copy each code cell, go into Data Lab, and open a new Python notebook. Go ahead and paste in that code, go back to ChatGPT, and copy the other code blocks that it provided. The only thing I need to change is its mechanism for pulling in the data. That's why I asked ChatGPT to specifically create this load data function, where I replace what's inside the function with a spy pull against the URL that's provided within the application. 
now I can launch this notebook in app mode where I can generate the user interface and hide all associated code underneath it. Pulling in the seek URL for a workbench with associated items provides me with the ability to select from this list of items for what variable I want to create a PLS model against. I select a generator RPM and you can see all of the associated visualizations and metrics that I asked ChatGPT to provide regarding the model were adequately generated. Note that not every idea will be able to be automatically generated through ChatGPT in a single prompt. However, ChatGPT certainly helps close the gap between those who may not be experienced Python programmers and bring in your analytics ideas into Seek. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to hear what ChatGPT helps you build within Seek.